crushes. And then when you crush the stem, you figure what would have equaled about six to eight tons that you crush the stem. Because it, it's compact then at that point. Right, right. Yeah. And, and the fruit's much more dense in the stem. Right, right, exactly. You don't have gaps in the space. Sure. I had the distinct honor of um, finding Barnett Family Vineyards through a catering gig um, in around the fall of 2014. Uh, you drive all the way up Spring Mountain Road in the Santa Elena area of Napa Valley, and you get to this beautiful spot atop the uh, mountain from which you can see pretty much all of Napa Valley. I was joking during the day that you can teach the history of California from this viewpoint. Um, and when I tasted the wines from Barnett Family Vineyards, it, they were phenomenal. And I approached the winemaker, David Tate, and asked if I could film him in the cellar doing his thing during harvest, and he graciously accepted. And here's the footage. And uh, here forthwith, David Tate, winemaker, Barnett Family Vineyards, St. Helena, California, Spring Mountain, ABA. Hashtag Say Marca Marardo, but I'm not saying my name. Put your little, oh, it's already going in. All right, cool. I'm Makina or no? Makina. Okay. Okay. There's a mechanism up there that spins the grapes into the uh, the uh, press. If you don't, you'll be attacked and killed by bees. Each bin holds about a ton. Oh no, about a half ton. See the Merlot is still there pumping over. You can just get it and set those levers and, and, and pumps to just the right level where you can just leave it. And it just you know stays at that same level. You gotta find where that is, make sure it's there, you gotta check on it each, each now and then. Um, but uh, you, can, you know, generally it's pretty labor, it's a pretty non-labor intensive move, but you gotta be careful.
each bin's about a ton, right? Half a ton. Half a ton? I mean, yeah. A thousand pounds. 